What's up guys, Grim here. Seems my chair is falling apart somewhat. You see all that? It's, it seems to be flaking away and it's getting on my shirt, on the floor, everything. This is a chair that I had given to me and it was in very good condition. And the person said they used it all the time, all that. And then I stored it out in a shed for a couple of days. And I bring it in here and now all this stuff is like flaking off. You can see it. I don't know if you can see it on the camera there. Yeah, there you go. It's just flaking off like crazy and it's all over my floor, all over my shirt, everything. I guess on the way I have to use donation money and actually buy a chair. So that way it doesn't look so terrible in every video. All right, so moving on. There has been some changes to the PTS in that Reaver is getting the nerf back. Now it isn't like it's a huge nerf. It isn't like it's having like extreme decrease in its DPS and all that, but it's taken away a little bit of its mobility and a little bit of the things that make it really fun to play. Now are these changes needed? Probably. I mean, the general consensus is that Reaver was pretty strong and people wanted it toned back a little bit. So changes are kind of expected whenever that many people complain about the power of a particular class. So what are the changes you ask yourself? Well, I'm glad you asked because I have the answers. To start off with, our first ability that is our warp is now nerfed a little bit to where it does not cleanse dots off of you anymore whenever you use it. And that is going to make it to where it's not as easy to warp away and go into stealth like Reavers have been doing in the past, which would be a huge change in the way that we play it in pvp that will make us a little more healer reliant but that is to be expected with any kind of nerf that comes around in that they are going to make you have to rely on other people a little bit more the second change is to plague bringer and it makes it to where it's nerfed quite a bit as well how it currently works is you always have plague bringer on in pvp specifically in that it spreads your dots anytime that you cast them so everybody will be affected by your dots including your uh, reductions in healing that you apply to your enemies and all of your dots take for full damage and it's a beautiful thing to see all these massive numbers going up in the air and everybody's getting damaged and reduction in healing. Well the change is that they are making it to where if you have Plague Bringer on it will continue to cleave and spread your dots to everybody else but it will be at a reduced damage. So it'll make it viable to actually turn off Plague Bringer whenever you're trying to apply single target damage if you want the full effects of your dots to be taken away on one target. That of course will make it to where you will go into PvP and actually run up to a group of players, have your Plague Bringer on and spread your dots and then switch to single target damage which will turn off your Plague Bringer. If you watch my Reaver build video that's actually how I have it in the build video and I mistakenly made the video that way and I actually I had to correct it in the annotations above the video but now it seems to make even more sense to where in the macros we will actually have it turn on and off that way the cleave does not reduce the damage of what you are trying to do to a single target. The third change is to Viral Stream. It makes it to where you can no longer move while casting Viral Stream. Of course that is our burst ability, but that is a change that I really do not have a problem with because yes, it does reduce the mobility of our class, but it is kind of on par with a lot of the other classes to where they have to stand still in order to do their really heavy burst. These nerfs aren't too extreme, but they come at a bad time. With melee PvP being in such a bad state right now, to actually nerf the one soul that warriors can really go to right now is a step in the wrong direction right now anyway. It's a good thing that these nerfs aren't really that extreme in that it gives us the ability to still play this class because our alternatives are much inferior compared to the other classes specs that are their flavor of the month, so to say. So Reaver will still be a very viable option, it's just a little bit toned back and that's actually a good thing. 
in that you won't have as much complaining, but you still will have quite a bit of complaining when everybody's getting their uh, dots spread to everybody, even though it won't be as hard of a dot as it was in the past. Everybody seemed to be really upset that we could use our warp that was on a very short cooldown and it would cleanse the dots off of us, allowing us to go right back into the fight or go into stealth or whatever else we wanted to do. And they didn't really have those type of abilities. So that was something that upset a lot of players. It's kind of a good thing that it's getting toned back a little bit in that now we won't have as many upset players about the Reaver class. So it's not that extreme of a nerf. So it's actually probably a step in the right direction. Uh, we don't want to go too extreme, especially whenever we got melee in the state that it is. Fix melee first before you nerf Reaver too much because we don't have too much to go to as a warrior class. Paragon, Warlord, Tempest, all of them have pretty good damage, but they cannot survive right now and we cannot really use them in PvP and be as efficient as a lot of the other classes can be with their flavor of the month specs. So guys, this is kind of a short video. I just wanted to talk about the Reaver changes and what to expect coming up because most of the people watching this channel play Warriors quite a bit. So uh, I figured I might as well clue you in on what's going on and what to expect coming up. And also not to panic too much because it's not too bad of a nerf and we'll still be able to play Reaver really well right now. As usual guys, my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time.